say goodbye to polluted air. People in smog-filled cities may soon breathe easier, thanks to a new concoction that turns regular mesh screens into pollution-blocking nanofiber filters. A research team from the National University of Singapore engineered a liquid nanofiber solution that turns non-woven mesh into air filters. The filters are able to block out up to 90% of hazardous particulate matter smaller than 2.5 microns. Unlike conventional filters that block out air along with pollutants, the nanofibers allow two and a half times more clean air to flow through. Their ability to block out harmful UV rays while providing natural lighting makes the filters ideal for windows and doors. The novel new filters can also be applied to respirators. The Singapore team has filed a patent for their invention. They're currently working to improve filtration efficiency and maybe add antibacterial properties. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Scientists have been looking to prevent the onset of a smog apocalypse and have managed to come up with some pretty neat inventions. Car parks could become the lungs of a city. Dutch company ENS Technology has installed air purification systems in car parks in the city of Gurk, which have proven to be able to substantially improve air quality. ENS's technology's air purification system is called the Ofuro, which can remove fine and ultrafine dust particles from the air. Polluted air is absorbed into the system by a fan. The air is then ionized, forcing the fine and ultrafine dust particles to settle onto a collector's surface and transform into coarse dust. The system has proven to be able to reduce fine dust concentration by more than 70% inside car parks and by about 50% in the surrounding area. The director of ENS Technology says the company plans to implement the air purification system in a variety of infrastructures, such as tunnels, trains, and bus stations. Bangkok-based design firm Lightfog Creative and Design has developed a new bicycle able to transform polluted air into clean air and oxygen. The engineers have designed a new bicycle that can be comfortably used despite heavy pollution. The new bike will have a built-in air filter fitted between its handlebars, which captures dust, pollutants and unwelcome airborne particles. While the pollution is converted into clean air, a lithium-ion battery embedded in the bike's frame will release oxygen. The bike can produce more clean air than its rider can use, benefiting his community. The green frame captures solar energy to supply the bike's battery and filter system. This could allow the bike to produce clean air even when parked. There is no news on whether the bicycle will be prototyped or go into production. New Delhi aims to blast pollution out of the air. A group of scientists led by an MIT professor hopes that an innovative idea can help clear the thick smog that plagues India's capital city. Scientists will use old jet engines in an attempt to blast air pollution out of New Delhi's atmosphere. The jet engines will be taken to a coal-fired power station and turned on facing skyward. The engines generate a nozzle speed equal to the speed of sound, which researchers believe will push smog out of the atmosphere. During the winter, Delhi experiences a temperature inversion, which traps pollution near the ground. But the scientists say the jet engines have enough power to blast emissions through this lid of warm air. Around 60% of India's energy is provided by coal-fired power plants, which contributes to terrible air pollution in the country's cities. This pollution is linked to millions of asthma cases, respiratory diseases, and thousands of deaths each year. The level of harmful fine particulate matter in Delhi's air last winter reached 15 times the Indian government's safe level and more than 90 times the level considered safe by the World Health Organization. The researchers say one jet engine can handle emissions from an 1,000 megawatt capacity power plant. The scientists also say the fuel emissions from the jet engines will be negligible compared to the amount of pollution they can clear and are working to reduce noise pollution during the experiment. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Dutch startup creates huge vacuum to suck up smog. A Dutch company has developed a new way to clean up the air, a giant air vacuum machine. The machine was unveiled at the Offshore Energy 2016 exhibition and conference in Amsterdam on Tuesday. Fine particles in the air are caused by emissions from burning fuels and industrial combustion. 
And Vinity Group, a Dutch tech startup, has developed a large air cleaner it says can filter out 100% of fine particles and 95% of ultra-fine particles in the air. The company says the filter can be placed on top of buildings and essentially acts like a large vacuum cleaner. It can clean about 800,000 cubic meters of air per hour. China is in dire need of air purifying technologies, as the smog levels in parts of the country are extremely severe. A smog-free tower designed by Dutch artist Don Roosgaard was installed in Beijing last month. It can clean up to 30,000 cubic meters of air an hour, according to Studio Roosgaard. Ventilation corridors may be China's solution to heavy smog. China's capital city is planning to construct ventilation corridors in a bid to tackle the country's air pollution. Densely populated cities tend to generate more energy and waste heat, resulting in a warmer environment than surrounding rural areas. Measures to curb pollution in Beijing have led to air quality improving only marginally. In 2015, the city had 186 days of up-to-par air quality, up 14 from 2014. To reduce smog, the capital is planning to build ventilation corridors. These are designed to relieve a city's heat and pollution by improving urban wind flow. The corridors will be created by connecting parks, rivers, lakes, highways, and small building blocks. Five primary corridors, over 500 meters wide, will run from the northern suburbs to the south. Secondary corridors measuring more than 80 meters are also planned. The corridors will reportedly allow northern winds to blow through Beijing during severe winter smog spells. Experts also suggest curbing the amount and height of city center buildings, as well as adding more green spaces. Beijing saw its worst smog spell from November to December of 2015. The air pollution was so thick it blocked views and prompted authorities to issue a red alert warning.